you're looking for the right Vanguard index fund for your portfolio. You've narrowed it down to VTI and VOO. But what's the difference? How do you choose? I'll look at both those ETFs and answer those questions in five minutes or less, because today is Five Minute Friday. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. While I may look like a famous movie star, my name is Jay, and as many of you know, I'm a huge proponent of index investing, and I'm a huge fan of Vanguard's index funds and ETFs. But one of the most common questions I get asked from people who are trying to decide between Vanguard's different index fund offerings is, well, which one should I choose? We've got VTI and we've got VOO. They look like they're the exact same thing. What's the difference? How do I pick between them? So we're gonna get right into that and we're gonna put five minutes on the clock and get started. Now Vanguard's VTI and VOO are both excellent index fund ETFs. VTI is Vanguard's total stock market fund ETF and VOO is Vanguard's S&P 500 index fund ETF. And at a quick glance, they look very similar. They're both from Vanguard, who's an awesome, reputable company. They both have the exact same extremely low expense ratio of 0.03%. And if you were to take a quick look at the top 10 holdings of each of these ETFs, they're exactly the same. But it's upon a little closer look that the differences appear. Now, the first clue is in the names. VTI is the total stock market index, and VOO is the S&P 500 index. That means VOO is trying to replicate the S&P 500 index. So VOO has 511 holdings representing the top 500 stocks of the US stock market index. VTI, however, is trying to replicate the entire stock market. So VTI holds over 3,600 stocks as part of its portfolio. And when we look at the top 10 holdings between these two funds, they're the exact same stocks, but they're different weightings. So because VOO is only the S&P 500 index, its largest holdings, the largest members of the S&P 500 index, are going to be held at slightly larger percentages of the overall ETF. Whereas VOO is trying to encompass the entire stock market. So within that, you're getting the entire S&P 500 index, just at a little lighter weighting. As you can see, the top holding for each of these is Apple. But in VOO, Apple makes up 6% of the index, Whereas in VTI, Apple only makes up 4.7%. And if we look at the historical performance of VTI and VOO, we can see they're not exactly the same. Over a one year, three year, and five year period, you can see that VTI has actually outperformed VOO. It's only over the 10 year period, VOO takes the advantage, but only by a 10th of a percent. And one final difference between the two is the dividend payout. VOO has slightly larger dividend yield, about 1.5% compared to VTI's 1.3%. So how do you make your choice between them? Personally, I prefer VTI because VTI encompasses the entire stock market index. And as part of my investing, I want exposure to those mid cap and small cap stocks that VOO isn't going to give me by just tracking the S&P 500. So with VTI, I'm getting the S&P 500, but I'm also getting some of those smaller, higher growth companies. If we take a recent example of a company like Tesla, Tesla was only recently added to the S&P 500 index within the past few months. So the performance of Tesla, and Tesla only would have been a holding of VOO after it got added to the S&P 500 index. But since VTI encompasses the entire stock market, it would have held Tesla the entire time, and Tesla's rocket ship growth numbers would have contributed to VTI's gains. That might be one of the reasons why it's outperformed VOO over the last couple of periods we mentioned. So really, you can't go wrong with either of these. It's just a matter of personal preference. If you want to be slightly more focused on just the largest, most powerful 500 companies of the US stock market, go with VOO in the S&P 500 index. But if you want to get exposure to some of the smaller and medium sized companies in the stock market without having to buy an individual ETF for each one of those, you can go with VTI, which is going to give you exposure to everything the US stock market offers. So let's check in on the clock and see how I did. Yippee! 
Please remember to give this video a thumbs up down below if it helped you out at all. Like I said, I prefer VTI for the reasons I stated. If you choose to go with VOO, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. If you want to check out two more videos that will help you in your investing decisions, I recommend these two right over here. I hope you enjoy them and I hope to see you there.